Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Bandesha, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I'm so sorry about uh, yesterday. I missed it. So I'm just going to show a couple of slides of uh, yesterday talks as well. Uh, so uh, as the topic uh, says, I'll, uh, I'll just briefly touch the all the advancements which have been uh, happening in the uh, EP uh, field. As you know, it's a very dynamic, uh, dynamic uh, subspeciality, growing very fast. Uh, the first uh, which comes to mind is the newer uh, ablations, which is the AF ablation. Uh, it's a very uh, a successful mode of uh, uh, ablation, which uh, sometimes achieves success in the range of more than 90 percent, 85 to 90. I am talking of cryoablation now. So, as you can see, uh, this is the the standard approach. The only difference is that uh, with us, uh, the electrophysiologist, probably we we the the uh, the the betterment in the technique is that we do have the skills to hit the fossa uh, quadrant by quadrant. So if I want to go to quadrant, uh, I can go by design. And similarly, if I want to go to the uh, anterior inferior quadrant, uh, same is the case. And obviously, because the gadgetry is quite bulky in the left atrium, so the right quadrant is very important to gain access to. So here you can see, uh, this is the uh, one of the, uh, so this is an achieved catheter. Uh, this is the occlusion of the pulmonary valve, and uh, that's the cryo balloon. So freeze energy will be delivered, and uh, the vein will be isolated electrically. As I said, huge success, uh, tremendous success. In fact, sometime if it recurs, a second procedure can almost obviate the the arrhythmia. So as in this patient, you can see a sinus rhythm has been achieved. The second uh, EP technique which is uh, getting momentum is uh, the cardiac resynchronization therapy. These are devices, as you can see, uh, the ECG. Uh, this is a standard procedure uh, with three leads, and this is one of the uh, postulateral branch of the coronary sinus. And with the help of this device, uh, the QRS, you can see the, the width of the QRS, which has significantly been narrowed down and uh, this is a curative procedure and sometime it uh, with, with the success with this device uh, it changes the life and later on the ca cardiac output the ejection fraction and the quality of life changes altogether uh, not stopping there and uh, the newer modalities have come into effect so one is the his bundle pacing uh, we have also tried a couple of them in our setup. So as you can see, this is again an ECG uh, with a wide QRS complex bundle. And uh, this is the device, the HIS bundle. So like a standard device, this is an atrial lead and the other lead is fixed on to the, the HIS side. And as you can see post-procedure, the ECG and the QRS has narrowed down, uh, resulting in vast improvement to this patient. I've we've been following this patient for the last two years now, and this patient has uh, significantly improved uh, in terms of symptoms and quality of life. Uh, a step further, the newer one is now left bundle pacing. Again, as you can see, with this left bundle pacing, the, look at the QRS width. So have a look at the QRS width. Uh, this is how a left bundle pacing would look like. The lead will be placed somewhere here on the membranous part of the septum. And uh, by this, is th there you can either selectively or non-selectively engage the left bundle. Uh, this is the view in the echo. This is how it would look, would look on a fluoroscopy. And have a look at this result. So again, significant improvement with this left bundle pacing. And in fact, I'm not going to show the data, but the data which has come up recently, the general Amer American cardiology, in fact, left atrial, bu left bundle pacing 
or left area pacing is is uh, probably gaining more momentum than uh, pure uh, CRT or the cardiac resynchronization therapy. Another tool which we have got in our uh, our momentum is the laser extraction of the leads. Uh, luckily, we have this system in our setup in AFIC. So, Alhamdulillah, whenever we ha we get leads which are very difficult to extract or which were previously left alone because of the non-availability of this uh, system, now we have this laser extraction and the laser lead system. And as you can see, bit by bit, the leads are going to be extracted. This was a difficult case. Uh, I think more than 10 years uh, of uh, the time of the leads, very heavily calcific. So I think in this one, I didn't use the laser catheter and I used the mechanical tool, the tight rail. And uh, it took me about two to three hours, but it's a very tough one. But uh, I managed to get both the leads out of the heart. Uh, then we have uh, the uh, advancement in the arrhythmias ablation techniques. And as you can see, uh, this is an uh, ECG with outflow ectopy, uh, classic outflow ectopy. So this is how it would look like. So left main, then the coronary sinus, the catheter up going into the greater cardiac vein and it was to touch the LV summit. Uh, if I hadn't got another tool, it would have been very difficult to ablate this uh, arrhythmia. But luckily, because uh, all of our colleagues in Pakistan, we do have a, we have all got mapping systems. So with the help of these mapping systems, now we know exactly where the, the spot is. So in this case, it was the left coronary cusp and I ablated about few millimeters away from the left main stem. So this is an advancement with the help of this uh, 3D mapping system. Another of, in fact, our serving uh, soldier, as you can see from the ECG, uh, outflow ectopies, I think he was also having runs of non-sustained ventricular tachycardia. So have a look here. Again, the same scenario, the catheter, this is the ablation catheter, that's the Jutkin engaging left main stem. And as you can see, the, the, the origin of the left main along with the two arteries. And I'm, I'm abutting about the, about the outer sur surface of the left, uh, of the summit of the LV. And again, with the help of this system, it was very helpful because this guided me to a specific point and it was ablated right there and then. And Alhamdulillah, the ectopy or the VT was successfully terminated. Have a look, have a look at the colors. You can see the color spread out from a single focus. And this is so helpful sometimes because otherwise you, you can see it would not be very easy for us to uh, to do it non con non uh, mapping wise so another of our patient a very bad uh, vt you can see the vt uh, again with the help of this system as you can see the color spread so this is the catheter in rv outflow that's the single catheter in the rv outflow and you can see this point is the earliest source or the origin of the tachy or the VT. And with just a couple of ablations, the arrhythmia was gone. And you can see uh, in the bottom below uh, tracings that the arrhythmia is eliminated. Uh, we had another case, again, a very complex case. He was ARVC, I, I implanted an ICD uh, many years ago, and now he was having slower onset VT. So it was very difficult because the device would not shock. The cycle length was such that the device, uh, you don't want the device to shock at that cycle length. So this is the ECG. Uh, this was the slower VT. And uh, so what we did in this case was we 
chose the epicardial approach. I think this was the first ever in, uh, in Pakistan where we went in. This was a device uh, in patient and we did a, a epicardial approach procedure. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is all epicardial. And uh, luckily, uh, I'll, I'll just show you. This is the catheter, one of the basket type of catheter. Uh, and this is uh, a rhythmia system. We have the system which is called rhythmia. So this help us in localizing the point and uh, successfully ablating it. Alhamdulillah, since then, this two years now and no VT. I think this should be the last one. This is an interesting case. It was another VT, fascicular VT. And in this VT, I, what I did was I did a transeptal uh, with the help of uh, uh, ice, uh, one but not the standard uh, what you would like to have. But with this ice, I still managed to get across and uh, that's the mapping system. This is LV and this is also uh, pointing out the origin of the arrhythmia. You can see the, the, ice, the, the ablation catheter here. This is the papillary muscle. And uh, this was the site, roundabout. And the arrhythmia was successfully terminated. So with this, I thank you so, thank you all. Thank you so much.